All right, we are on the home stretch of this thing. Um, what do they call him? Poseidon? Yeah, Poseidon. Or, um, uh, having a major brain fart here. <laughs> uh, what's his name? Pronicon. Pronicon. Uh, so, home stretch here. So, we've got all of these bits and pieces. Um, we got the handle here um, for the big sword. So we'll get the sword put together, I'll set that off to the side. We've got, looks like two extra pieces for the sword. Um, maybe you can break these things down and make them into smaller swords if you wanted to. Easily see you doing that. We won't focus on that, so we'll set that off to the side. Now, all of the individual guns are of no use here. Um, there's no place to store them, really, and they just, they're all just going to get in the way. So we'll set all of this stuff off to the side. Alright, so this is a extra ball joint for the, the headpiece on, on him. Uh, and I believe it sets the head forward a little bit more. Um, actually, it might actually have an extra hinge in there. That might be... Oh, that might be exactly what we wanted. Oh, I have no idea how to get in there. Son of a bitch. Well, I'll have to see if I can figure out how to do that at another time, I think. I'm going to fiddle with it real quick here. So we got the uh, an extra pen and this piece here. And it looks like what we do, disconnect this, and get this out a little bit and maybe pull this head off. Screwdrivers for that. I'm gonna see if I can use this pen to push the old pen out. direction nope well that's something I'll have to play with later let's continue shall we so it looks like and that might that extra ball joint might actually help um, pulling that head out for transformation a little bit better. Alright. Send this off to the side. So now we know what that's for. All right, we got an extra piece here. This this slides into the inside of the handle uh, and helps keep it sturdy. So if you were to either break it or or something, or maybe if you want to do smaller handles, you could probably use that to do that. Of course, we got this little dewey here. Uh, we end up with four extra of these pieces. And one, two, four extra of these pieces. These are the handles, the 
individual individual bots will form guns. You know, the target masters. All right, now then we got these shoulder locks here. We'll look at those in a, in a little bit. I've I have not used these yet, and I can't find anywhere in the instructions where these things show. Um, and I also can't find anywhere in the instructions on how to assemble the big sword. So we're just going to wing it. Um, I've got a picture here of what the sword looks like, so that's what I'm going to go off of. Um, so I think we take these bits here. I'll plug these in down below. That works just fine. So we got the bottom part done. Next bit looks like we're going to take looks like this sword and this sword and we'll take these bits here. And we'll take the sword here and it's plugs in like that. Plugs in like that. Same on the other side. Just like that. We take this and we'll plug in here. You got these two handles are really close together and these two are a little further apart. And you see there's just like that. So just like that. All right, next up we've got these bits here, which we'll plug in together like that. Um, I think we want to, yeah, probably just, uh, looks like there's a groove section there, slot there. Like that. Next up, we want to split this section down the middle. Take these swords, put them together, and then this will, there's a plug hole, plug hole, and then you just line it up with the corresponding bits. Just like that. And it looks like this will just slide in there. And there you have the big sword assembled. You can take the handle here, and this will just plug into the base, just like that. So it's one of those really big swords that I'm not a huge fan of. Um, the handle is just massive. Um, I mean, it, it's just like the the predic the predicting sword. Uh, all right, now take these bits here, and these will rotate around. Um, you want to get this slot here into this tab section there. So just rotate it and like that. Same thing over here. Like that. And then we take this bit 
and they plug in to here. Like that. And they kind of form kneecaps that you can kind of rotate around if you're bending the knee and whatnot. So I guess that works. All right, we're gonna do the arms first. Just because it's gonna make things easier, I think, when trying to get these shoulder locks into place. All right, now, so we're gonna move this tail out of the way. I'm gonna take him, and this just slots in like this. And I'm going to assume that we just slide it in like this. Yeah. Um, it doesn't really see what it's doing to be honest um, because if you still pull down on the arm it's still gonna come undone it's not holding anything in place all right whatever fully understand what uh, Skullface was saying in his review like I don't see why they didn't just rotate these ports when they're assembling the figures um, so that you have to slide it down to lock um, that's something that I think I could probably pull off This just comes down here. Maybe it's putting some pressure on the backwards bit. Or like pushing it out that way. And that's helping it. I don't know. I have no idea. To be completely honest with you guys. There we go. All right. I think I'm going to move these out. Yeah. I think I'm going to need that extra room. It'll make him a little bit shorter, but I think I think he needs a little bit more room there. All right, now Take the feet here, and what we'll want to do is we're going to need to pull this out, and this out, and then just I don't know if I'm going to get enough clearance there. So we'll have to kind of slide the leg in and then just kind of reassemble it around it. So. And these are at angle. There we go.
there. All right. And now we do the other one. Uh, which is this nightmarish transformation. And there we have Poseidon, or Piranicon, in robot mode. And yeah, he's he's a big boy. He's pretty impressive, I will say. Nice and thick, just like the G1 toy. Um, I think we need to work out a few kinks here. There we go. Alright, now it does seem like this leg's a little bit longer than this leg, so it's kind of putting them at a tilt. Um, so I don't know, I don't know. Um, looks good. Let's see here. Let's go over our articulation, then we'll go over the uh, how well he does his weapons and such. Head is on a ball joint. So you get the left and right, a little up, a little down, uh, but mostly the left and right. Shoulders. Uh, can rotate up one click before it gets caught on things. And it rotates. This shoulder, the, the little locks are falling out. So this one, one click, eh, you can get all the way out. Things will get out of your way for that one. Of course, all the way around. Bends at the elbow. There is a swivel. This one has a bend, but it only goes inwards. And there's a swivel. Hands rotate. Thumbs on a ball joint. And it's got two hinges, and each finger has three hinges, so fully articulated there. You can see he's starting to do a splits. Uh, there is... Waist swivel, which is nice. You don't see that too often with combiners. Uh, moving this out of the way. Legs can rotate up and down, in and out. There is a thigh swivel, bends at the knee, pretty good bend there. Uh, foot has a rocker, uh, or a tilt all the way forward. And then good rockers to the sides and side. He's a heavy boy. And of course, you can rotate these cam cannons up and get a little bit more dynamic with that. <sighs> he's big, he's exhausting. Alright, now, let's see how well he can hold his gun. I got the plug in backwards. So you can hold his gun here. See, that's a that's a problem. That is huge downside. That is that might be a fatal flaw. I don't know what to do here. That is, that is extremely negligent. Oh, you know what? If you have these in, you, you don't get, you don't get a tilt or a rotator. 
Uh, the ratchets aren't quite strong enough to hold the, the, the gun up. And the gun is actually pulling him down. Um, you can see it's, 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 it's actually affecting the whole figure having the gun in his hand. He can't, he, he can barely stand while holding it. That's unfortunate. Alright, uh, sword. It's the same deal. It's it's too heavy. It's 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 way too heavy for him. I. Oh, boy. <laughs> I tried to pick it up from the back and that collapsed on me. Oh boy. Okay. Um. Uh, we'll do a shake test, I guess. Okay, so it's solid. He just has problems. The biggest problems. I'm trying to see where it's where it's bending. And it's where he's falling forward is not it, it's the toes and where the hinges or those pieces that we put inside the bots. That's what's that's what's not working. He's front. He's front heavy. He's front heavy, and if you give him a gun or the sword, that makes him even more front heavy, and that makes him collapse. Um, toes aren't big enough, or something, and those the the tilt and the foot is not tight enough. Um, okay, so. I can't recommend him. I can't. I, I can recommend the set. I think these guys look incredible in bot modes. Um, you know, you have a few little, like minor fails in bot mode. So if you if you like the C cons, I think this this will be a good set for you. But I, he's a little too unstable for me. I can't. Yeah, um, the fact that he can't hold his gun or his sword, he's still he's still wobbly without those. And uh, I don't know. I mean, this thing, this thing's probably gonna take a dive. Uh, I can imagine it. Uh, I think the biggest flaw this figure has, or the biggest down. <sighs> Uh, I think what they did wrong, the biggest thing they did wrong here was trying to make every single piece an arm, a leg, and a gun. I think they should have focused on making one an arm and one a leg, uh, you know, and then one as a gun. I think that would have worked out a lot better than trying to make them all. I know they're trying to follow the G1 toys, but the G1's toys are so simplistic that that uh, you know it, it's hard to <laughs> it's hard to copy that because they're so so simple uh, and and still make a legitimate figure. So I think the combined mode is a total fail. I do. Uh, it has potential. Uh, I love the way, I love the way some of it folds up and makes it look convincing. Everything with Snap Traps transformation is awesome, except for that head getting caught in the way, and it looks like they might have gotten a replacement for that. Uh, but not being able to stand very well, not being able to hold his weapons at all, without you know collapsing the whole figure. Uh, I mean, I'm sure you could probably do one of those poses where he's holding his gigantic sword like this. Um, but the only way you're going to do that is if you have the arm rotated, which means this, these things are worthless. Because as soon as you start rotating the, the arm, these things pop out. 
Um, and they, and they do nothing to really hold that arm into place. So I don't know what the purpose to these are, except for filling in this slight little gap up on top, which you wouldn't notice unless he's fallen over <laughs> and he's laying down face down. Um, so these are worthless. Uh, I, I think, you know, when, when I first started this whole section, I was going to say that this is probably their strongest combiner. Um, but in its own way, it's it's it might be the weakest combiner because it, it fails on so many levels. Uh, I, I'm I don't I don't know what to say. Uh, let's do a size comparison here. Uh, here he is with uh, MP10 and an MP car. So, I mean, he's a good size. He's a great size. I mean, depending on where you want your combiners to be, scale-wise, uh, you know, this is, he's a little bit bigger than what uh, G1 toy scale would be. Uh, obviously, he's not anywhere near G1 cartoon scale, but I, I would say he's a, he's a really big bot. Um, really nice big bot. Uh, and for you... Beast Wars fans like me who would love to see a repaint of this here he is with uh, Primal and see in Beast Wars for those that didn't know when there was a combiner they weren't gigantic um, they were pretty big but they weren't gigantic I mean hell uh, Tropertacus was only the size of Primal uh, but by making them that big it puts them into like a higher class and they can tromp all over the little robots. Um, and that was what was cool about them. So this would work pretty well in a Beast Wars scale because this thing would just be devastatingly huge for them. Not so much for G1, but you guys, I think you guys get my point. Anyway, um, as, as a team, as a team lineup, you know, individual bots, I'd give it a nine out of ten. Uh, for the monster bots, probably six out of ten. I don't, I don't, I don't think they work very well. As a combiner, I'm gonna have to give it a four out of ten. Uh, it has potential, but you know, if, unless I sit here and work on it and take it apart and rebuild it and try and fix things, I'm not, I'm not seeing any way to fix it. It just you know, maybe if I rotate those combiner ports and the arms around, maybe if we take off that those those foot extenders, maybe I'll give them a little bit more stability. But I, I don't think that's gonna work. It could, but probably not. Um, I don't know. I just I don't know. Right now, I mean, he's leaning up against my backboard. That's the only reason why he's standing. Um, yeah, that, it's very disappointing. Very, very disappointing. I, I really wish this thing would have been, like, gold. The, you know, gold standard kind of thing. But I guess I'll probably just end up putting it in... Uh, in the bot modes and just calling it a day to be honest so yeah there you go uh well we're gonna look at a few other bots here and there and then we're gonna get into the uh unique toys abominus that's that's our next combiner that we're gonna look at um i know i reviewed one or two of those guys too but we'll just uh we'll just redo the whole thing just like we did here and see if that one's any better